Hello, this is Mr. Adams. Going to do a little bit of uh, preparation work for you for the test coming up on Tuesday. Um, you need to print off the test or uh, pick up a hard copy of the test at the school office because on this section here on five and six, you're going to have to measure those angles and you're going to have to construct circles. So in order to do that, you're going to have to be able to print it out because you can't do that on a computer screen, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is, if you noticed, I have extended the lines on the circle uh, for those angles. You have to what's called extend the rays, as Mr. Uh, Howe mentioned in his videos, if you've been watching those. You have to extend those rays so they're long enough to be able to use with your protractor. And then you can turn the paper in order to line up the lines that you need to do, all right, which you also can't do on your computer screen, and uh, be able to measure your angles. Now, every protractor is a little bit different. Uh, this one here that I'll show you, uh, you see this, the uh, circle, the hole there in the middle right above the three. And then that's what lines up with the zero and the 180 degrees on the right side. You have to line up that the vertex with the hole, and then that line should, the line of the angle, the baseline, should line up with the zero and the 180. For instance, we'll take a look at this one. We'll just use the test, all right? And we're taking the, the hole in the middle. We're lining it up with the vertex, and then that line, all right, right there, there's the vertex, and that line lines up with the zero and the 180. And then, I have to move this out of the way, you see where that line connects, right? Where that line goes out, because I've extended that line. And then you read what that is. It's a, you know, it looks like it's uh, about, now would that be 115 or would that be 75 for that angle? How do you know? Well, because we know what kind of angle is that? It's less than 90 degrees, right? If we look at that angle, that's less than 90 degrees. So that's gonna be an acute angle. So it's gonna be the lesser of those two numbers, isn't it? It's not gonna be the 125 or whatever it was there, <laughs> okay? It's gonna be more like 60, uh, 66 degrees. And I'm, I'm gonna give you grace within a couple degrees either way, but it's not 115 or 114. That would be this other angle over here, okay? This angle is 114 degrees. All right, so that's how you need to do those. You need to be able to extend your lines and have your protractor and measure those angles that way. Remember, every protractor is a little bit different, but you line up your uh, vertices and the zero and measure your angles that way, all right? The, these ones down here, you're gonna have to have a compass, all right? Set it at, this, at the uh, radius and draw your circles. Uh, those are easy to do, but you need to be able to do those there. You're going to have to have a compass to do it. I can tell whether you use a compass or not, and I can tell if it's the right size. All right. Also, uh, have an answer for each one of these angles. Turn the paper and measure the angles, all right? And uh, you'll do well, all right? Thank you very much. Bye.